For this lesson, open the project 11i. Motion paths are tricky, and to make it easier to understand how to work with them in Final Cut Pro, we're going to start with a simple still image instead of a clip. Double click the ball motion file and go to the motion tab. With no keyframe set, let's reduce the scale of the ball to 20% and put it in the upper left corner. Go to the first frame and insert a center keyframe. Advance one second and drag the ball to the lower middle. A keyframe is created automatically and we have a basic animation. Play it back. When image plus wireframe is enabled in the view pop-up and an animated clip is selected in the timeline, you can see a purple line representing the motion path of the clip in the canvas. The green dots are the keyframes we set, a circle for the origin and a square for the destination, and in between these purple squares, tick marks, representing the velocity of the clip. They're spaced perfectly evenly, indicating a constant or linear interpolation of the in-between frames. The great thing about motion paths is not just that you can see them, you can actually edit them in the canvas. With the selection tool, you can move the keyframes regardless of playhead position. We noted earlier that you couldn't add easing to keyframes for the center parameter in the motion tab because it was multidimensional, but you can add easing in the canvas. Just control click the keyframe on the right and select Ease In, Ease Out. A couple of things happen. The tick marks are now closer together at the end than they are at the beginning. This means that the clip will travel a shorter distance frame to frame as it reaches the destination. In other words, it'll go slower at the end. When you add easing to a point, Final Cut changes the interpolation of the in-between frames and also adds these two purple circles to the path, one large, one small. We'll get to those in a moment. Hit Command Z to return to the original interpolation. This time, Control click and select Linear. The interpolation doesn't change, but Final Cut adds those two little dots again. The large one is the point's Bezier handle. Mouse over it and make sure you see the crosshairs before you click. Swing it down and away to change the shape of the motion path. We're using Bezier handles in a completely different way here. Before, we were using them to alter the curve representing a numerical value changing over time. But here, we're using them to define the actual path of the object. What you see is what you get. The second smaller dot is the velocity handle. Slide it toward the keyframe. The tick marks are closer together toward the end of the path, which means that's right, it goes slower at the end. Now slide the velocity handle away from the keyframe. The tick marks spread out, and the clip speeds up as it nears the destination. Position the playhead at the beginning of the clip, and control click the second keyframe. Select Make Corner Point, which returns us to the original interpolation. Mouse over the center of the purple line. When the cursor changes to the pen tool, click. A new green keyframe is created, as you can also see in the motion tab. Drag it down the frame a bit. As before, with keyframes within other keyframes, this one has two handles which mirror each other. And you can break the link by holding the shift key, the command key, or both. If you don't need the handles, control click the keyframe and select Make Corner Point. To move the entire motion path, hold Command Shift and drag the clip to a new position. The motion path will follow. Now that you have the basic gist, 
Let's apply some of this to our old four panel animation. The motions look mechanical with constant linear interpolation, so let's see what it looks like with some easing. See the difference? How about now? Before moving on to the next lesson, see if you can recreate this effect. The start and end keyframes were adjusted, Bezier curves and velocity handles were used to define the motion paths, but no additional keyframes were added. Watch it a few more times and give it a try.